like waist beads. Oh, it's cute. We are so cute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Long time no vlog. If you're new here, my name is Nkem Jika and I'm an Nigerian YouTuber, or do I say part time YouTuber? <laughs> Based in Abuja, and um, welcome to my channel, welcome to the family. So, you guys, it's been a long time. Don't worry, that will be just for another day. As you guys can see, I'm not fat. Don't worry, keep that thought in your mind. We'll talk about it another day. <laughs> So you guys, as you can see, I was preparing to go for a fair. Yes, I was applying my sunscreen because why not? I was going for a fair. A fair is a marketplace. I know the sun in every marketplace is usually sunning. So I had to apply the sunscreen very well. So I was preparing to go for a fair and inside track Christmas fair here in Abuja. And I was dressing up my co-wife, my husband's elder brother's wife, she's my senior wife, had a stand in the fair. So as you can see, I was preparing to show up and you know, I have to show up. <laughs> so I was preparing, not too much dressing, it's actually a market, yeah. So I just wore a shirt and a, a black top to go with it. So I was preparing, actually I wanted to go with a mom's jean and a shirt but because i'm not fat the mom jean was not momming the jean was not jeaning it was jimmy skin tight <laughs> so i just had to switch to something and but i was still in the spirit of vlogging and i'm like why don't i vlog and you know i was dancing and preparing uh, i was in high school and i'm like this mood this mood in the spirit of christmas you know i was checking out myself you guys so and also let me do small tiktok So I did other TikTok videos and you know I was just really so happy but maybe no reason at all but then this life is hard already why don't we just cheer up so I set house as you guys can see I have a baby yay <laughs> so now you know you know what I've been busy with all days while well, I've been busy with pregnancy childbirth and nursing a baby so i just had to pack it to one place first because i was not even getting myself my body everything life the whole thing everything was just overwhelming so i say youtube i beg i beg i beg i beg i beg i beg <laughs> so you guys that's why i've been away maybe i was just so lazy for youtube actually so i don't even know if i'm back maybe i'm back but not better but i'm going to try to to be more consistent i don't know so back to the cheese guys i was right inside the fair now and um i realized this was more of an arts and um crafts fair they had a lot of crafted woven um textiles you know all these art art things all these very traditional kind of art all these art that they teach the main the main art so i got to this part where we are supposed to pay our gate fee the gate fee was um 500 naira per adult and then children free so i made my transfer here and i was now inside the fair proper and i could see or oh, you guys you can see that there were lots of ankara like everywhere was just in ankara 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 <laughs> we had um <clears throat> abaya we had um bubble gowns bubble tops long shorts we had a lot of textile works 
So finally, I got to the stand of my co-wife. So she was here with her sister, the beautiful Bella. You guys, you can see her handmade beads. These beads are not ordinary. Wait, I've forgotten what she called those beads. So are they water beads? I don't know. Something like that, yeah. And then the beautiful Odfin Street. You guys, you can see the yummy chin chin, yummy chin chin, yummy cakes, banana cakes, everything. So I said, okay, let me just go around and see what's going on in the other parts of the fair. And I could see that basically almost everybody had ready to wear for children yeah i have a baby girl so i was checking out some baby and um, baby girl dresses here <clears throat> excuse me i was checking out some baby girl dresses here and ah uh, i was like no 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 they are too busy <laughs> so i kept moving and i got to this stand she was doing this really pretty thing she was doing it there they also handmade so that i'm saying that this fair was more of an art and craft like diy you know there were so many like very amazing things like not the regular things you see in a regular market there were a lot of handmade slippers footwears um there were um scented candles flowers natural flowers natural flower verses ah so it was just a lot I I'm actually an art person. I don't know if I have ever mentioned it here in this channel that I studied arts. I actually studied fun and applied arts, but I majored in textile. So I'm actually good with all these things. I'm good with textile. I'm good with fabrics. I'm good with art. I um, I specialize all my area of concentration in textile is um interior design interior decoration so i know how to use all these ankara and fabrics to make all these straw pillows wall hangings you know accessories and i love diy sometimes you can see me saying i want to oh i have an old purse i want to um recycle it it's not because i'm stingy or it's not because i can't get a new one but i love doing things like that so i'm that kind of a person but then so imagine i should find this fair very very interesting but then I was just like, these are things I'm used to. You get. I studied four years for BSc. I used another four years for MSc <laughs> for the same course. So I'm used to all these things. So maybe it wasn't really so exciting. But then it was beautiful, like very, very beautiful. There are so many beautiful things to get here. As you can see, see the local plates and cup and, you know, spatulas then we had a lot of abayas a lot of um dresses with ankara so it just really made the fair to look very colorful so here a lady was just just telling me telling me on his hand motor yeah, yeah yeah i said oh beautiful oh it's amazing oh i did not buy anything no i actually bought some gowns for my baby i think that was majorly what i got a gown I didn't buy anything for myself because i'm like hey, i can do all these things uh, why should i pay you money for something i can do i saw some ankara slippers this duvet was my project as a bsc student safe that's duvet so all these things are things i do i have my dyes i have my caustic i have so i can't come and be using money to patronize somebody when normally safe i'm supposed to be in this fair you get yes i know i'm proud um so guys let me stop talking joy just you guys enjoy enjoy this beautiful beautiful amazing very very amazing fair i know you don't get to come across this kind of fair every time that's why i took the pains the pains to vlog this amazing fair for you guys duh say thank you <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this vlog. So sit back, grab your popcorn, grab your juice, and enjoy. Don't worry. Don't mention. <laughs> That's from here.
so after my waka waka i decided to come back and rest because the sun dealt with me the sun showed me shaggy shaggy pro max so i said i should come here and rest and later i decided to take a walk to the other side of the fair while i was going we decided to go with our yummy chin chin and see if we can see people that would buy from us so we got to this place where they sell okrika they were very very lovely okrika tops not last grade though. they were neat and fine and instagram big girls were there picking i went there to check if i can see something for myself although one thing with me is that i don't have the patience to bend down and select no 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 if you have my time you can be selecting for me and be shaming me uh -huh. i can be patient enough to see if i can see something i like if not i don't have the patience so i didn't pick anything from that quicker stand i just checked the ones that were in the hangar they were fine but they were not my size so i didn't have the patience to look for the one that's my size so i continued my work car and i got to this place you won't believe that all these headbands are handmade like the woman she makes them herself they were very beautiful but quite on the high side i think this headband they are seen like this she was telling me five 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 for that flower you just put on the side of my baby girl hair that before we go walk out reach one place you don't fall off so i thought how well done although i collected her card because it looks like something i would go for on a good day so we got to the part where they sell cookies bags handbags very lovely handbags and um lovely shoes yeah i think i i made a video of this white slippers here i loved it so i asked for the black but she didn't have it and it was very quite affordable it was twelve thousand five hundred. i've been seeing it on instagram for fourteen thousand. so i wanted to go for it so she just told me she doesn't have the black and i'm like where will i be wearing this kind of white fancy slippers i'm going so you can see how fragile it is so i came back to our stand again i did video i was checking myself my hair i've scattered and then yeah yes my husband's cousin she said she should arrange herself we should do chakra face for me you and then yeah we are already packing and getting set to leave for the day it was actually a very beautiful day i had so much fun i love that i came out and i was actually doing a um video where i was advertising i posted on my whatsapp telling my friends if you know you're in abuja come to the fair tomorrow come to our stand patronize us by our yummy chin chin our yummy cake banana cake <laughs> So that's what I was saying here. Come to our stand. We have very yummy chin chin. Yummy chin chin. Yummy cake. You get? We have beets. So you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye. So guys, this is Sunday, day two of Ah, fair. I didn't think I was going to come out for the fair, so that was I wanted to end the vlog in the last clip. But then I said, Okay, let me come out. So we decided to step out and thought we should just um stop by Ninja Branch Chick Fair. Yeah, Ninja Branch Chick was also having her um trade fair on the same day, so we decided to go by and see what's going on because you know all instagram vendors are going to be vendoring that thing there <laughs> so we decided to go so that's where we're driving to you guys stay tuned for the next vlog the next vlog is going to be covering ninja brand chic fair i hope you enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up thank you so much for watching i love and appreciate you guys bye